Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. I don't hear any greeting. Morning. There you morning. Go. That's better. Good morning, everybody. It's Ash Wednesday, March 6. And uh, today we are being reminded by the gospel that on this day, on this day when we are supposed to be. Oh, hello, Eva. She's excited. On this day when we are all reminded in the church to begin our journey, our Lenten journey <coughs> of penance okay, and sacrifice, <coughs> we, we are ushered into this season with the application of ash on our foreheads, right? And as the priest comes around to apply the ash on our forehead, what does he say? Oh, he was excited. What does he say? Okay, there are different formulas, but the more common one is yeah, from dust you came to dust thou shall return. Now, what does that mean? What does that mean? What is the significance of that reminder? What's the significance of that reminder for us? From dust you came and to dust you shall return. What does that exactly mean? Any guess? Anybody knows? We're huh? created from nothing. We're created from nothing. And we will return to the state of nothingness. We will die. Right? The death is something that's real. The death is um, something we have to face. But that's not the end of our lives. That's not the end of the road. Death is just actually a passageway. It is a passageway. And it is a passage to what? Or from where to where? From this life to the next, right? Death is like a door from this life to the next. And what is the next? Eternity. Et eternity, hopefully, right, Mia? Hopefully it is. Well, it will be eternity. It's only a question of whether it is eternal happiness or eternal damnation right it is either a passage through the door to heaven or the door to hell and what would that be dependent upon uh oh what would that be dependent upon whether it will be the door to heaven or the door to hell how's that Jenna huh How's that? How we, live our lives on earth. How we live our lives on earth. Right? So, so on this earth, on this earth, we will often face a fork in the road. Right? Our journey on this earth is always going to be uh, uh, a choice between a fork in the road, left or right. And only one of those would lead to eternal happiness the other one's going to lead to eternal damnation okay so we have to make sure that we're always choosing the right path so that at the end of that path we will meet the door that leads to eternal happiness in heaven but along this road there are going to be plenty of obstacles, obstacles. there'll be potholes There'll be difficulties, there'll be sacrifices, right? And what Lent reminds us of is that we should actually take advantage of these sacrifices. We should actually be attentive to the sacrifices that we could actually do along the way. That we should actually, uh, in fact, uh, be ready and cheerfully go through and tackle the obstacles that we will find on our way. That really, all of those obstacles we find along the way are not really going to be obstacles. They are they're trials. They're going to be tests as to how much we really want to get to that door. Right? 
They are really a test of our perseverance. They're really a test of our steadfastness. They're really a test of our faith. Whether we really believe that there's a door at the end of that path, at the end of that road that will lead to eternal life. Okay? So, Lent is a reminder of that final end. So it is good that all throughout Lent, we be conscious about that door, the choice of the path we are treading in this life and the door that awaits us at the end. Okay? And that Lent is also a reminder that we have to take advantage of every moment in this journey to take advantage of those little challenges, those trials, those sacrifices along the way to really purify ourselves, to really rid ourselves of any obstacles in our souls that will prevent us from getting to that door or will prevent us from falling off the path okay? or will, will, will rather make us join the other the other road rather than the right road okay so or or concede defeat and say okay i give up i'm not going to get there so lent is a very good reminder for all of us to challenge ourselves to keep treading that path to keep going through that narrow road that leads to a narrow gate right there's another passage in the gospel that reminds us about that Okay, so but today on the day of Easter Sun of Easter Sunday, not yet <laughs> of uh, Ash Wednesday, the gospel reminds us that as we travel this road, we have to be cheerful. We cannot put on a gloomy face so that everybody notices that oh I'm sacrificing. You see the ashes on my head. Oh, I'm, it's hard. I'm sacrificing myself. I am having a hard time. I am. You see how holy I am? I'm sacrificing a lot. No, Jesus tells us in the gospel today, well, you know, when you are sacrificing, don't put on a gloomy face. Put on a cheerful countenance. Put on a cheerful disposition. Because that shows us, and that will show our Lord also, that we are happy to go through all of these challenges in our lives that we are happy and we we don't begrudge the fact that life is difficult and life throws uh, uh curve uh, balls to our to us and and that it's hard and uh, it's difficult to become a saint and it's hard to mortify ourselves well you know it is nobody's saying it is easy right but our cheerful disposition is an indication of how much we accept these things and how willing we are to go through these challenges and difficulties in our lives for the sake of attaining the kingdom of God. Yesterday, the gospel yesterday was telling us already about the reward, right? There's going to be a reward at the end of that door, at the end of that path. Would be heaven. Would be heaven. And there the reward is going to be greater than anything else that we give up on this earth. Anything else that we give up on this earth is nothing compared to the price of heaven. So today, we are being told that if we want that price, if we want to go through this path, let us go through it cheerfully, cheerfully, without complaining, without dragging our feet, without all sorts of excuses, and, and without being showy. Without having to show everybody in the world, oh, you see how holy I am, I'm sacrificing myself, right? No, nope. our Lord says that's hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. Because if we really, if we really want to sacrifice ourselves, if we are, if we are really doing this for the right intention, okay? The right intention, which is what? Number one, as reparation for our sins. And number two, as reparations for the sins of others. Like the children of Fatima yesterday, we were reading about how they were so concerned about uh, making amends for the sins of others, right? Those who overeat, 
You know, and those that remember that story, right? So we have to do this. We have to take upon ourselves this kind of sweet burden of our own salvation and the salvation of other souls with a cheerful disposition. We have to be doing it cheerfully. Otherwise, otherwise, we're not really willing to do it, right? If we are not cheerful in in our disposition, that means, ah, oh, we're just dragging our feet. That means that we're just doing it out of compliance. Oh, we're just doing it, I don't know, for what other re whatever other reason. The only real valid reason is for all our sacrifices this Lent is for the reparation we do for our sins and the sins of others. And if we really want that, if we really are sincere with that, with that kind of an intention, then we will do it cheerfully. Right? We will do these things cheerfully. We're going to pass through this period of Lent in a, with cheerful dispositions. Okay? And cheerfulness itself, smiling, is in itself mortifying. Right? Because it's not easy to, uh, to, uh, to accommodate things in a cheerful way. It's not easy. It's difficult. Okay? But the more smiles we put on, the more they are good indications of our sincere dispositions. And that is what counts. And we'll end this commentary by reminding everybody, God loves a cheerful giver. Okay? God loves a cheerful giver. So let us go through Lent with all the sacrifices that we can we can put together, okay? And we can muster. Let's challenge ourselves to the max, but cheerfully, with smiles on our faces. Now, you know how you can do that? You know, here's a tip. How can you be cheerful throughout Lent? How can you do that? Anybody can tell me? Does anybody know the secret about... How you can be cheerful despite all the sacrifices you give, you're doing. Offer them up. Oh, of course you offer them up. And what does that mean, Joe? When you offer them up, what are you doing? Offering you are. To God. You are what? Offering them to God. Yes, Chevelle, you're offering them to God. But once, when you're offering them up, what are you actually doing? You're praying. Okay, Sophia, you are praying. So, what will help us become cheerful is to be prayerful. It is actually to be prayerful. It's to talk to God all throughout this journey of Lent. To, to be talking to God. To be conversing with Jesus in our hearts and telling Him all the time, My Jesus, I offer you this little sacrifice. My Jesus, I offer to you the difficulties I'm encountering right now. Jesus is hard to smile. Jesus is hard to obey. That's prayer in itself. Just those little snippets of conversations with Jesus. That's prayer. Jesus, I don't like to do this, but I'm going to do it out of love for you. They love for God is our motive. Jesus, I don't like. I really don't. I don't really like this. This uh, the, these vegetables, but I am going to take it out of love for you and out of reparation for my sins. Jesus, I don't like the face of that guy, but I'm going to smile at him. I'm going to talk to him. Even if I don't like to talk to him, I'm going to talk to him because I'll offer it up for you. So talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Pray and offer up all of these difficulties and sacrifices to our Lord and we will grow th go through Lent with cheerful faces, with a cheerful disposition. And that way, we're helping Jesus. We're helping Jesus with the salvation of souls through our little smiles. See? We're going to help Jesus save souls and be part of his ultimate sacrifice on the cross, which is what Lent is going to commemorate, right? We're going to be part of that sacrifice on the cross with our cheerful smiles. And we will help Jesus with our smiles. Okay? So good luck, good luck with all those smiles for Lent. Have a good day.
Bye. Bye. Bye.